Hello and welcome to day 11 of your yoga practice. My name is Mary. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be taking care of our feet. So if you have some kind of a ball like a tennis ball that would be helpful and also a chair. Let's get started. So come to your mat. Actually I'll move the chair aside because we're going to start on our backs today. So just settle in sinking down. Just take a moment to feel your back resting in the earth. Notice where you might be holding some tension and just see if you can let that go. So take a breath here. Now bring your arms out to your sides like airplane arms and bring your feet up to the sky. And we're going to start with some ankle rolls. So roll your ankles first to the outside and then switch directions. And then we're going to be pointing and flexing. So as you take a breath in, bring your toes towards your face. And as you exhale, point your toes up to the sky and then move with your own breath. So breathing in, flexing and pointing. And as you're flexing, you might notice you feel all the way in the back of your legs a stretch. So just noticing how everything is connected. And we'll do that one more time. And then um, we're going to just scrunch your toes together, like bending your toes and then spread your toes wide. So we'll do that with breath. So kind of like you're making a fist with your foot exhaling and then breathing in as you stretch your toes wide. Okay, so come press yourself up to a seated position and then a standing position and grab onto your tennis ball and you can bring a chair next to you just so that you have something to hold on to if you need a little bit of balance. So come to a mountain pose Bring your shoulders up towards your ears and then draw your shoulder blades down and back. Slight bend to your knees. <sighs> so take your tennis ball and we're gonna first start by placing it on the ground and going to our left foot so you could hold on to the chair if you need a little bit of extra balance with your right hand. And just start by rolling your foot on the ball up and down from heel to ball of your foot focusing on different parts of your foot that need a little extra care. So maybe the arch needs a little bit of care. Maybe it's the outside, but just moving up and down with the tennis ball and not pushing too hard. Um, your feet might be very sensitive. The first time that I did this, I was shocked at how sensitive my foot was, but that's just an indication that it needs some work. So now just roll the ball back and forth on the ball of your foot. So I notice I'm slouching a little bit. So stand tall in your mountain position. Maybe you can let go of the chair, do a little bit of balance work on your right foot. And then you can be done with that. Set your left foot on the ground and we're gonna do a balancing position on our left foot. So bring your knee up towards your chest. So your chair is there if you need it. And from here, we're just you could you could have your hand on your chair or your hips, and we're just gonna point and flex the raised foot. So breathing in, flexing, exhale, pointing, standing up tall, breathing in and out. So let's move to the other side. You may need to step to the other side or move your chair around. And we'll do the same thing on the right foot with the tennis ball. So just starting up and down on the bottom of your foot, just rolling up and down and then to the side, maybe to the arch, to the middle, to the outside. And if you feel like you want to balance, you can balance on your left foot as you take care of your right, just moving up and down and then you can roll from side to side on the ball of your foot oops mine got away come back here little guy just back and forth 
and then we can let the tennis ball off to the side and then we'll balance on our right foot. So standing tall in Tadasana, getting most of your weight on your right foot, using your chair for support if you need it, and then flexing and pointing the left foot. So inhaling, flexing, exhale, pointing. Breathing in and out. In. stand on both feet let's take a nice freedom breath bring your arms out and up deep inhale stretching bring your hands to your heart and down to your sides so we'll move the chair out of the way and we'll come to all fours bring your hands underneath your shoulders spread your fingers wide and then just step your right foot back Bring the ball of your foot to the mat and then stretch your heel towards the back of the room. So feeling a nice stretch in the back of your heel. So we'll stay here for a breath. And then bring your right foot forward and then step your left foot back, ball of the, your foot on the mat, pressing your heel back. And we'll take a breath here. Just feeling the extension and stretch in the back of your foot and your calf. Now come to a position where you're um, on your knees. Curl your toes so that the bottom of your toe is, toes are on the mat. And then we're going to set back on our bum. So you'll feel your toes stretching and feel a stretch in the bottom of your foot. So this could be a little bit uncomfortable. If it's too uncomfortable, come forward. But we'll just take a breath here, just breathing, feeling the stretch. And then come to all fours and we'll just give a couple of little ankle rolls. And then you can come onto your back. slowly lowering down and settling in, maybe into Shavasana pose or any pose where you can find stillness and comfort for the last couple minutes of practice. So draw attention to your breath, breathing in and out. Notice if you're holding tension anywhere, just breathe that tension away. Bring awareness to your left foot. And imagine that you feel a warmth on the bottom of your left foot. And this warmth relaxes your whole foot as the heat radiates from the bottom of your foot to your toes all the way to the top of your foot. Bringing in complete relaxation. Now bring awareness to your right foot and feel the heat at the bottom of your right foot. Relaxing your foot, taking care as the heat radiates up, feeling the relaxation in your foot. And now that your feet are completely relaxed, take a moment of gratitude for all that our feet do for us. And knowing that taking time for self-care to take care of your body helps to keep everything working properly when we're in pain all we can think about is the pain but when we're healthy we can think about anything so take one last breath here and then when you're ready roll on to your right side using your right arm as a little pillow Drawing your knees to your chest. Take a moment in gratitude. Thank yourself for taking time for self-care. And then when you're ready, you can press yourself up to a seated position. And we'll take one last breath as a class together. Draw your hands to your heart. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Namaste.